on the first day I arrived here, uh, it was a bit stressful. I met a lot of people. I didn't remember any of the names. And then they put me on a bench and I got on with it. I started working from day one and I haven't stopped working since. <laughs> H.O. Wallingford study the physical water environment, so we're interested in how water impacts the, the physical environment and how the physical environment impacts uh, our water resources. We use our ship simulation centre to um, study the impact of changes to harbours and offshore structures. I think we've noticed a trend increasingly that uh, university courses tend to be less practical than they perhaps once were. And it's important for people when they enter the industry to have more practical skills. And I think that industrial placement year gives an opportunity to develop those skills. And in this case, it's read back over a normal TCPIP network connection. I've learned a lot of things during my placement, a lot of practical skills. I'm very confident now I can do prototyping, wiring, soldering, all that bits and pieces that I wasn't that confident before. One of the projects I've been working on is the arc boats. So I have been helping construct them and also develop them a little bit and maintaining them. Arc boats are remote control boats that are used by environment agencies around the world to survey river banks. So it's an easy way to get some results from riverbanks that won't endanger actually people going into boats and going into the river. Both the placements I, I really enjoyed. They were a different sort of style of, of working and learning to uh, being based at university. It was uh, everything you do was um, for a particular application. You weren't having to learn so much theory and, um, and it was quite exciting to actually see people using what you've done to make money and to make their business better. I think that there are sort of skills and experiences in a placement that are difficult to uh, reproduce in an academic environment even if you have industrial group projects and things of that nature because it's a real live situation and so students are developing skills sort of on the job gaining experiences of, of what it's like to actually have to deliver uh, uh, on objectives um, in the real world. I'd say the best thing about the year in industry for me was in, improving my confidence um, in a workplace environment rather I, I was confident to you know go to lectures and take exams and that I've been doing that for three years but it it's really by the time I moved on to my second placement I was barely nervous at all on the first day. I was just getting, you know, I, I knew that what working in industry was like. When I go back for my third year, I think I'm going to be a bit more motivated and I will know which subjects I want to take for my future career path. And I know now what industry really look, is looking for. So I can take those modules and maybe it will really definitely help on my project as well as it is practice based. Often students sort of describe this sort of journey that they've been on and how it starts off as quite a, a challenge and, and, and quite difficult and how they've sort of been able to overcome some of those challenges and feel that they're in a very different place and a better place when they finish their placement. Yeah, I do think having a year in industry puts you at a definite advantage over other candidates. Um, if you're up against a candidate who's got similar grades to you but has only got maybe a summer placement or, or just a few couple of weeks work experience, it's likely to put you at the top of the list. I definitely think it's a big advantage in applying for jobs. I think you should start from the middle. We get a great deal of positive feedback about how um, our students approach the tasks on their placement and how that is different from what other students from, from other universities might bring.